Morning guys, this is uh, day two of my camper build and I've got the trailer uh, in here in the garage and I wanted to show you a little bit about it. Um, I did go with the same wheels and tires as my Tacoma. Um, those are some Tacoma wheels that came off of another truck. I was able to get the whole set. They basically have brand new tires. They're not the same exact tire as what's on my truck but they are off-road tires and they are um, the same size so the idea is that I can just use the spare on my truck for the truck and the trailer if I get a flat so uh, here's what it looks like um, I've got a swivel hitch here's that um, lock and roll hitch the other section is on the truck here's the front of the camper of course it's going to be skinned um, the door is going on this side a window is going in that side um, and then around on the back I'm gonna have that hatch right here let me show you that hatch real quick it's kinda just sitting here this is what it looks like it's got a lock here a little latch there and it, it swivels up there's the window for the driver's side um, I don't have the door yet or the roof fan I am gonna put a fantastic fan right here and then I'm gonna have a like a skylight right here uh, so I can look at the stars at night but that's pretty much what I've got now I'm gonna start on the front pieces and get all the tops cut uh, I may not screw everything together just yet but I'm gonna get everything cut and uh, try to get as far along on it as I can today alright well it's been a couple hours I feel like I've worked a lot but haven't got much done but I, I think I'm making progress um, I've got the bottom piece on here I've obviously got the back on the hatch is sitting in there actually this whole board is just kind of sitting here um, and then I've got the front piece right here done um, I do not have the door yet so I'm debating on waiting until I get the door and cutting that side or I might want to go ahead and do all of the skin there and cut it out on the side um, it might be a little more rigid uh, if I put everything together and then cut the door later uh, trying to decide what to do exactly but uh, let me take this out and show you kind of what that looks like all right so here's the back basically the hatch opens up uh, here's a little galley area I can put a stove or whatever I want to not to cook in there necessarily but just to store it in there um, in the back here I've got some storage here I can put my kayak paddles um, I can put my little camp kitchen I've got I don't know if I've shown you that yet but I've got a camp kitchen um, I can set that up but store it in here um, the only really electronic thing that I have in this build is my roof fan I am gonna have a fantastic fan and a couple of lights but the way I'm gonna wire that is put a fuse panel in the back here and then I'm going to have it like a cigarette lighter plug where I can plug it into a Jackery because I really don't need that much power camping. Um, I know my van, I had all the fancy lights and stuff, but I'm not going that extreme on this build. I'm going to keep it simple, but that's where I've got so far, and uh, I'm going to see how much else I can get done today. One thing I didn't show you about the trailer, uh, since I, I really uh, didn't get a chance to show you the trailer without the body on there, which I will when I take the body off to... Uh, finish it and everything because I've got to paint the underside of the body uh, so it doesn't get wet and things like that but I want to show you kind of what I've got going on here these are independent axles they're called timbering axles and then I've got these jacks here where I can raise and lower the back um, and help level it I don't have a jack on the tongue yet but with that um, on the tongue I'll be able to kind of level the camper uh, the goal is to put a level probably on the back here somewhere like this that way I can I can tell when it's level side to side and then I'll put one front to back as well but I've got a hitch here in the back uh, this is in case I want to uh, carry anything or pull the trailer out if it gets stuck so I, I just want to show you that real quick but I'm gonna keep continuing on the build and I'll get back to you shortly all right well I'm pretty well finished with day two um, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I think I started around 9 30, 10 o'clock. So I'm pretty uh, wore out. I think I got a little bit of sun today. Uh, my neck is feeling a little burnt, but I was out there um, outside cutting all the wood. But let me show you what I got. Um, here's that hatch 
I do have some clips on here just for now, um, but I am going to get some gas struts to put on the door. Um, here is my window right here, and then I've got a skylight there, which you can kind of see it's like plexiglass. Um, the only thing I don't have yet is the door and the roof fan. So once I get that, I'll be cutting some holes out. I'll just have to cut them on the body uh, with the jigsaw, but it won't be too hard. Um, the door goes right there. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. Um, everything's glued on the seams and screwed together, so it shouldn't go anywhere. Um, once I've got everything done, I'll take the body off of the frame, and then I'll take that opportunity to show you the frame uh, in detail. But that's it for day two. I'm going to call it a day. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. Y'all have a good one.